Hi, this is Ramsey Dewey over here in Shanghai, China. Welcome to another edition of Q&A with the Coach. Now, I usually start these out with questions, but I'm going to start it out with a correction from one of the viewers who corrected me on an error that I made in a previous video titled Frank Duke's Bulletproof Glass Bloodsport Kumite Question Mark, where I talked about uh, Frank Dukes and some of his alleged accomplishments and whether or not they are or are not factual. So I'm going to read this comment correcting the errors that I made in that video from our friend DHS, who says, I happen to know for a fact that Dukes is telling the truth. And then he makes this very compelling argument. I too had a very interesting career in the military and CIA. It all started when I was 16 years old. Due to my martial arts prowess, I was recruited by the U.S. Navy. And I flew N-1 Abrams tanks off carriers for them. I served in the same squadron with Tom Cruise, Val Kilmer, and Flash Gordon. He was best man at my wedding to Miss Saigon. I even went to Top Gun school with Tom and Val and won the trophy. My tank racked up more kills than all other tanks combined later on my squadron. I, I apologize. I'm trying to get through this as seriously as I can. Uh, my squadron uh, company accused me of being too aggressive, so I knocked him out with a flying squirrel kick to the nuts. Needless to say, I spent a long time in the brig, where the guards made us prisoners to fight in Kumite-style death matches, which they placed bets on. After executing several hundred prisoners, it was determined that I was too deadly too deadly to be kept in the brig, so I was transferred over to the U.S. Coast Guard, where I flew B-52s because they were short pilots and bombardiers. I never needed a bombardier on my crew <laughs> because I can use my chi to guide bombs to the target with pinpoint, pinpoint accuracy. After single-handedly destroying an entire Afghan city full of Taliban Buddhists, I was recruited recruited by the CIA. I can't see through these tiny tears forming in my eyes, man. I was recruited by the CIA, but I can't talk about how much what they did for the CIA. But let's just say I have more confirmed kills than all other secret agents, Army SEALs, Navy Delta Forces, Air Force Recon, and Marine Corps Pararescue combined. Due to my amazing prowess in the field, the director of the CIA personally selected me to become the youngest ever and one of only 12 Pokemon trainers in the entire CIA. You gotta catch them all. That's what I did. Due to the extremely high classification of the project and need for absolute secrecy, our base of operations was in the psych ward at Bethesda Naval, Naval Hospital. It was there that I became familiar with prison-type suicide watch operations. Consequently, my final classification, my final classified mission was coordinating with the British SAS, the royal family, and Hillary Clinton to help out good old Jeffrey Epstein with his assisted suicide, oh man. Uh, since retiring, the CIA has been nice enough to provide housing for me at the Greenview Pay Psychiatric Hospital. They've also provided me with a substantial guard detail. When I write uh, my memoirs, my publisher is already in negotiations with Disney, and it looks like we're well on our way to my story becoming part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, whatever the hell that is. I am convinced I retract everything I said. That was the most amazing argument I have ever heard to substantiate the claims of Frank Dukes. Thank you for correcting us. Let's get right into the questions next.